Hi guys, it's Frank from Adventures Outdoors. I'm on my way to pick up my new Bass Tracker Classic XL. I bought it at the uh, Bass Pro in Moncton, and because of COVID, we can't cross the border, but they can, they can deliver. So they're dropping it off in Amherst. So I'm on my way to get it, I can't wait. Stay tuned. Damn it all, stupid rain, trying to get stuff done with the boat. Ah, uh, socks. Oh well, back when it dries out, I guess. Today is Joanne's birthday. So my wife's birthday is today, and I bought her, I bought myself a boat for her birthday. <laughs> that way, uh, I'll be fishing more, and she'll have more time in her craft room, because I won't bug her so much. <laughs> However, you know what boat stands for. Bring over another thousand. Uh, lots of accessories on this guy that I bought, so... Uh, this is a Tracker Bass Tracker Classic XL. And as you can see, yeah, I've already kind of overdone it. So uh, I'll go through what I bought for the boat. I'm done buying stuff right now. Um, but uh, lots of little toys, lots of stuff for the boat. So I'll. Uh, take this stuff out maybe unwrap the boat it's raining a little bit I don't want my boat to get wet after all but uh, yeah loving the look of it picked it up Friday today's Sunday had a big storm yesterday <clears throat> my insurance isn't quite done so I can't take it out oh, it's driving me nuts but soon enough anyway we'll uh, start unloading this gear and uh, we'll do a little review as to what it was that I bought and then I'll start installing some stuff and uh, we'll uh, let you have a look. All right. I'd share with you some of the stuff that I bought for the new boat. Um, it's one of those things you can really get caught up in it, I'm telling you. Um, I did buy a, a, a second battery for the trolling motor, so I got to install that. I went to Bass Pro, spent a small fortune. Um, I bought uh, some rod tie downs that I'll put, I uh, think for if I have any company, I'll put the rod tie downs in the back. I see a lot of people putting them on the front, but I think uh, for me, I generally fish with about four rods. So uh, so I think the, the rod holders that come with the boat are gonna be fine. So anybody who's coming with me, um, I'll strap these to the back and then they can put theirs on the back. Um, I may put it on the front, I don't know, we'll see. I also bought Bass Pro. Um, uh, the uh, rod holders for trolling. Uh, I bought two. I'll probably eventually pick up another couple, but uh, um, I do a fair bit of trolling on, on, on the big lake, one of the big lakes around here, so uh, uh, for me that's that's one of the big things. Oh yeah, extra plugs. Definitely got to buy extra plugs. So I bought uh, two of those guys. Make sure that I have them. I'll throw one in the truck and uh, one underneath the seat here. Um, definitely want that. Uh, I did buy, I went to the dollar store and I did buy like uh, some felt pads because I wasn't sure if the if the um, straps on the outside of the boat would do any rubbing so I thought well I'll pick some of those up. Um, what else did I get at Fast Pro? Uh, tray for the battery. I, I bought a tray for the battery so that uh, I can mount that new battery down there. So that's going to be an important, uh, important bit. Um, 
Everyone talked about how cheap the uh, straps were for the tie down on the boat. Boy, you weren't kidding. I'll show you, it's crazy. I couldn't get over it. Um, these guys, pretty expensive. But when you consider what you paid for the boat, um, I don't know, I'm gonna try them. I know some people had trouble uh, getting them mounted onto the, onto the frame of the trailer. Um, I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. Hello. So here in Canada we have Canadian Tire. So uh, you guys probably have the equivalent, but I don't know if I needed such a cable or not. But I bought um, this switch to starter cable so that I can tie the batteries together. So I'll just uh, put a little red paint on one and black tape on the other. Um, and then I'll use that to put the, the batteries in, uh, in, in series, or yeah, parallel, whatever it is. And of course, you know, you can't go and not pick up some, some more bait. Uh, I'm a creature of habit. Um, some stainless steel screws. Now we have a, we have a shop here in Canada called um, Princess Auto, and they actually have boating supplies. So I was really surprised I was at, at, at Princess Auto yesterday, and I'll show you. I got a dock hook, and this one's eight and a half feet, $14, like 14 bucks. Uh, Bass Pro wanted like 40, Canadian Tire wanted 40, I think Bass Pro wanted 40. Um, this was $14, and it's, it's extendable up to eight feet. So for me, I thought this is this is great for pushing off and and hooking on the dock. So I think that was a that was a great find. The other thing was that they have was um, uh, their dock rope was super cheap um, and it's braided nylon. So I mean it's it's great rope. It's the same kind of rope you'd buy at Bass Pro or Canadian Tire, and they had tons of it there in different sizes. So. I bought some dock line, uh, anchor line, and um, I also bought a USB charger for the 12 volt. Um, but I tend to travel with a, uh, a portable pack for charging my phone, but so that'd be for an emergency use anyway. Um, some of you guys, you know, gave me the tip of uh, how to launch the boat by yourself using. Um, a, a, a long line attached to the truck and the and the boat when you back it in. So uh, I bought some line for that as well. Um, I'll probably do a video on that and see how that goes. I mean, I'm brand new at this. This is my first real big boat. I've had an eight foot little little punt for uh, you know quite a few years, but um, this is my first real boat. I also bought a charger, so I'm going to hook this up today and the battery. Um, hopefully get the electrical all done today uh, in the rain good thing um, but yeah so I'm kind of looking forward to that uh, what else did we get here oh I know the last thing that I did get I've already put it in was I bought one of these big lights from Bass Pro I don't know how good it is um, it's a how I guess it's a halogen it's it's kind of almost like a car light um, but anyway, I figured just as well to have one of these, plug it in the cigarette lighter. I don't plan to be out on the water at night, but uh, you never know, and uh, good to have. So I did buy one of those as well the other day. So that's kind of the gear that I bought. Um, I don't know, what did you buy for your boat? Um, I, I already have some fishing gear and 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 things like um, buoy markers and stuff like that so uh, I have I have some I have a lots of gear already but um, um, anyway that's it I guess I'll start installing it and uh, anyway this is this is what you do when you buy a new boat right you go and go shopping and you, you, you know I've been back and forth back and forth back and forth trying to get all this gear lined up so now that I've got it I guess it's time to get to work
Ja, das war halt toll. Putting in the tray, <clears throat> this one right here, I hit some sort of bulkhead, I hit some sort of uh, support, so I'm going to use this one and this one back here, and I'll put another one right here, and I'll leave the ends, I guess. Um, that's what these guys have anyway, so, um, so yeah, so. You just got to be careful where you drill, I guess. But anyway, uh, it's not like I drilled a hole through the middle of the boat yet. But uh, anyway, it's coming. is now charging so it looks like I did it right wow wonders ever cease so uh, it took me a little bit of time you know it's always a, you're always afraid to screw it up but uh, an extra battery in there pro sport charger um, yeah I'm just glad that's done so now I've got lots of power Next project. Whew. So I installed these little expensive little guys, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. It's an investment in the boat. Um, but uh, this one here wasn't a, an issue. It uh, lines up pretty good with the light. But the one on the other side here, uh, she's pretty close. So. You can see that just a little bit of a rub there, but it's doable, and uh, so at least it locks. I had to unscrew the light, and I moved it over as far as I could, and then bolted it back down, and then this one here I jammed over that way as much as I could, and uh, so it locks in, and uh, you know, this is this is good. I know some people bend the metal back. I really didn't want to do that. Um, so, uh, this is what I did to it and it, uh, it seems to be working quite well. This is going to be good for me. So I like the way this turned out. <laughs>
Hey guys, thanks for all the wonderful comments. I'm glad you're enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy producing them. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and head over to my Facebook page, Adventures Outdoors with Frank Zink. As well, I have a Facebook group called Camping Life and it's just tips and things for camping and meal recipes. So I hope you head on over, leave another comment over there. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.